It's a lot. Hey, what's up? It's a lot. What's going on, King Sun Man? You're doing it. You deserve it, Daddy. You're working hard. I'm proud of you. I love you. All right, let's get to the crux of the matter. Are you attracted to men or women depending on how I'm feeling? Is it true that you had sex with MC Mill? When Meek Mill came forward and disclosed how Diddy had allegedly tricked him into making some ludicrous accusations, the drama really got going because of a lawsuit against Diddy that claims a number of horrible crimes, including drugging and sexual assault, of which Meek was allegedly a victim. I can't tell you that it seems like Meek finally reached a breaking point. One of the major stories that came out this week was that Little Rod, a producer who worked with Diddy, filed a lawsuit. In that lawsuit, he made a number of claims, including that he was smuggled one of the famous drinks that Diddy does, and that he woke up feeling as though something had happened to him during the night. I can't say the word on YouTube, but you get the idea and that he and Mech Mill had a sexual relationship. I wanted to see if you had read any of this, or if you had any reaction to people actually coming out now and saying that Diddy does stuff with men that's not just the Cassis and the um escorts and whatnot. Well, yeah, you know, I love, I love y'all when you act like this on YouTube, like well, I haven't been here and Reggie Wright speak on this stuff. I've been, I told y'all, I said real soon, it's going to start coming out by me because Puffy is not paying for Male escorts ordering up male escorts. If he's not doing it for his enjoyment, you only order up female escorts and other females. If you get down like that, you won't be ordering up no male unless you want that male with you. So for all the other that's acting. Shocked and surprised, I said somebody's going to come out and expose him real soon. And of course, that's what's happening. It's unfortunate that a stuff like that happened to people. I know y'all believe in an Illuminati stuff. I don't believe in Illuminati won't tell y'all up front and y'all say now because the powers in the B is not protecting Puffy is the reason that uh, these people are coming out and suing them now. They why cuz now once you pay out people and that's why when he paid out that that judgment the next day, I that was bad because when attorneys would take on cases and say, hey, this dude paying out this quick, he'll pay us a million dollar right quick or $300,000, whatever, if he wants stuff to go away. You know, I'm sure those short companies that he has that mainly y'all don't know is the one that be paying those things out I try to educate you on is usually your company insurance companies that, that pay them out and make the decisions when you have the business insurance or the businesses you have the different type of insurance that make you pay out. Oh. The thing's because by time you have all the different lawyers and stuff involved, it's just as quick to sell a case. So that's unfortunately, is I'm not implying that he doesn't deserve all of these things. But what's happening in the future is that everyone will soon leave. The world works. These are legal actions. I'm a fan of Meek Meals, therefore I don't believe in them. I'm not sure what happened, but I knew this when he discussed it with MC. I'm not up here saying Meek Mills was involved in that thing. I'm not saying Usher. But Miss didn't deny it like I said. I don't want to believe that that is true, but I'm one of those like, when don't say you mother crazy, I ain't never done no like that then, it's usually some smoke um with that fire. Oh, you're about to lose your temper, because Justin Bieber and all of his puffy friends are going to be our modern day, oh, I know black people get upset when we claim that Michael Jackson did that, but I think that Michael also likes you doing things with young guys. That's what I think puffy is turning out to be. And that's my opinion. Now, you ask me how. It's difficult for me to say whether this stuff is true or not, and I won't go up there and start debating it. But there was also more heat, and Meek talked about a number of terrifying incidents, including a car crash that nearly took his life given the backlash against Titty Online. I know our victim who was around us, he's a very good friend with R today. Many people immediately linked the incident to the rapper's alleged threats and unethical behavior. I heard it, and I've been telling you all that Puffy has been giving you all all the indications that he's trying to come out of the closet. I hope he does, but it's clearly 2024, and we don't care. Society don't care no more they done TV shows, and all of that brainwashers to say half of y'all, well maybe 10% of y'all in the comment section take, and hey, that's just the era we live in, I have a problem with gay, you say, well why you? care what a man doing and all that because that's one of the main reasons that God flooded the world and then set the world on fire and did all the stuff that he did because he was mad when he found out that men were down there having sex with animals and having sex with other men 
and stuff like that. That was the one thing that pissed off God why. Read your Bible, y'all learn. I know there's more and more to it than what I just explained, but that was the, the gist of what happened. So that's why I have a problem with homosexuality. But I know in 2024, I'm from an old school where in the 80s and the 90s, people that were doing that we're hiding it, but, and now y'all out with it. So hey, that's on y'all. But my point to saying that is Puff need to just come on out with it. Cause the lawsuits and stuff is going to keep people going to keep blackmailing him and threatening him. And they're trying to expose him with the things because they think that he's scared of the things coming out. And once you don't give a and tell them, I don't care, do what y'all got to do. These were adults. These weren't kids. Everybody that did something like that wanted it. It ain't too much. That's going to be happening. The next thing that's going to be happening. And um, after this is now, you're going to start seeing some criminal investigations getting opened. And um, because when you get too much of the smoke, a law enforcement generally gets involved. So that'd be the next thing that's will be happened to Puffy, unfortunately for his sake. Well, y'all know, I'm one that believes if you ain't getting psychological help getting some type of help and you're a victim, you got to come right away with me and tell it, then you're victim to me. But when you're talking about it and you haven't been getting some type of psychological help, then you 10, 15 years later want to come talk about it. Y'all better know, never have me on no jury for no like that, because I'm going to be like, get thee out of here. Why didn't you bring it up when you happen? That's what's supposed to happen to victims and victims to me as the stuff come out immediately, not years later, not when you finally find an attorney to take the case because they find this open season and they seeing that you opening up the checkbook and stuff like that. So that's what's happening to your boy Puff. When I told you that his deal wasn't, that he still had that deal with Sarek, everyone said, oh, they already did away with him. I told them it wasn't true and you can't just take ST for granted. However, don't act like you're just now hearing that because I've been telling you that the brother is gay and is fighting it in an attempt to hide it. He needed this to come clean. So yeah, it's good. I'm trying to tell you, Stu, but I love how you all go watch other mothers on YouTube and all of you YouTube lawyers, when you want to hear things, get it, right? You know where to call bomb first, you get it first. That's why we're talking about Meek. He won't let these accusations go unanswered. And he's not scared to call out industry insiders who he believes are attempting to discredit him. He's all about being truthful and refusing to back down from what he refers to be a smear campaign. Meek has been outspoken on social media, criticizing those who try to damage his reputation. Many people are upset which is why you brought me on here, and I truly appreciate that, brother. Before we begin, I want to clarify that, despite what I hear in the comments, a lot of people believe that I came here to bring down a black man, but it was nothing like that. A black man did not, for example, curse out a deceased man's mother, put his friends in a situation that prevented them from returning home to their families, nor did he reach out and assist those who helped them in making amends. Some of these animals out there get paid for their underscore underscore, and I get paid to express my beliefs. I appreciate your platform for allowing me to express my thoughts. Yes, I understand you, man. You were one of the people who was really close to the situation, so why not say thank you? I appreciate that. That being said, the last interview we did together was a day after the raid, and now that you're looking at everything, Ma, 